Hey clan and welcome back to Here's what I found. Thank you, Court Honor, for ruining yet another intro. Hey clan and welcome back to Outlast. When we last left off, we found ourselves in this crazy, crazy den of adventure. Um with an interesting fellow called Walker. Um kind of a big chap actually, a bit burly man. Decided to throw us down here. And we've uh, found some medical um, documentation, which hasn't really told us an awful lot, apart from the fact that they were doing some crazy experiments uh, on people. And we are finding several references to some kind of Wall Rider project. Um, whatever's been going on here isn't very ethical. So let's continue to explore. Also, when we go to save and exit, <laughs> it does not save and exit where you are. No, found that one out the hard way. So, let's continue down this very scary corridor. Alright there, pal. You have a good time. You having a bit of a sleep. You uh, you don't look so good, pal. You, you look like you need, uh, need a hot dinner or something. Something to sort yourself out, at least. Evening, chaps. What's on the TV? Huh. Looks like you're watching some kind of grindhouse thing. I can dig it. Ooh. Alright, buddy. Wow, you have been cut up and stitched back together so many times. You look like a cushion. Holy crap. Well, we're going to leave Mr. Cushion where he is. Let's just, uh... Continue past these gentlemen. Um, crouch. Oh yes, we have to hold it, don't we? We do. Exit. Exit sounds good. Let me guess. We cannot exit. No, we can't. Okay. Well, onwards and upwards, I suppose. Press the left mouse button to close. Yep. I assume the game's just going to keep prompting us to do that throughout this entire... Game, but that's okay. Oh, hey, pal. Oh, looks like you had a little bit of a bad experience. How unfortunate. Nothing in here, no extra batteries or any goodies. Left mouse to pick up the security card. Thank you. What happened to you? You've, uh, you've been horribly murdered. We're not exactly sure why or how you've been horribly murdered. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm sure we're not going to run into anything nasty. Nope. Of course not. Alright guys, still enjoying your grindhouse. Look at you. You... You're getting a little bit excited about that, I think. Let's not think about that too closely. Hi, right, buddy. Having a good time? No? No. Sorry, there's nothing I can do for you, my friend. Alright, buddy. Hmm. Hmm. I guess none of us saw that coming. I'll help you, buddy. Now, Miles, the best way we could help this chap is to stomp on his head and call it a day. Just, uh, just stomp on his brain. Let it all leak out. Best thing that could happen to him, to be honest. Sounds cold-hearted, but I think it's the kindest thing to do. Personally. At least he's not going to jump up and molest us again. If we bursted his brain with our boot. What kind of boots are we wearing, actually? Eh, uh, can't really see them very clearly. Uh, they don't really look like uh, a high quality pair of brain bursters if you ask me, but uh, I'm sure they would do the job. Now, we have our key card. So I'm assuming, I know we need to go down there a little bit later. Uh, note that you can look behind by holding Q and E together. What? Look behind. How do we do that? Have we got eyes in our ass? 
Well, that tool tip went a little bit quick. So I'm pushing CUNY. So, nope, I have no idea what that means. Hey, buddy! Where are you off? The toilet's over here, man, if that's what you're running for. Eh, who cares? Can we not, can we not open this? Oh. Witness! What did you witness? Look at this toilet paper. Looks like it's been here for about 600 years. Maybe they don't use it anymore. There's another arm in the toilet. What are they feeding these people? That's an arm with no fingers either. I suppose you can't let the good bits go to waste. Precious meat. Oh, hello. What indeed do we have here? Well, either these two had a little bit of an argument or something a little bit more extreme happened. We may never know. Excuse me, can you not shut the door whilst I'm trying to pick up batteries? I need my doors to be open. Saying that, even when they are closed, or even when they are open, Miles here has a little bit of trouble uh, navigating through the empty space, as we've seen before. Uh, security. This seems like where we need to go. Uh, push to the left mouse. They lie. Of course they do. They're humans. That's what humans do, apparently. Uh, I guess. Oh, we can close that one. Uh, so we can fondle the keyboard. Anything else we can do here? Oh, yeah, we can hide in the in the lockers. I remember that. Right, let's have a little fiddle whilst I drink some caffeine-enriched liquid. My God, this is slow. Oh. Well, so much for that. Oh, let's hide. Hide in the locker. Don't try to fight. Could that be because we can't? Oh, hey, Mr. Walker. You are a big boy. Whores? Looking for some whores, huh? Of the pig variety. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, Mr. Walker. Piss off. I have a facility to explore. Without you hindering my progress. He's just muttering to himself. Talking all sorts of rubbish. Now, I don't know if he's hunting us. Or if he's just kind of buggered off. For the foreseeable future. I don't really know. Oh. We have a lit up corpse here. And what do we have here? Please be something interesting. From Helen Granite. Um, Project Wall Rider on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough uh, ambiguous data to make any litigation, uh, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous uh, initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest 
in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence amongst patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical uh, restraints have proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. Yeah, I see. Well, yet again, you have wonderfully underestimated your protocols. Seems to be a bit of a common theme there, doesn't there? Now, if I was a door, I would be there, apparently. Yeah, there we go. Right, there's the exit door again. I don't think we can go through it, though. Now, is this the same room? Aye. Aye, it is. Yeah, we ain't going that way. Alright, well, back this way then, I suppose. Where did Matey Boy go? He's a bit of a big chap. It's kind of hard for him to just disappear. Never mind. Now, some little gobshite, the guy that I thought we were BFFs with, has cut the power on us. So, let's head down into the basement because that is no doubt where he was. Uh, notes. I'm inside. Still nothing new there. Documents. Alright. All right, well, into the basement. That's where the best stuff is. Remember, kids, reach deep. The good stuff is always at the bottom. I right, shut you. There's a sturdy-looking padlock there. Oh, yeah. Ah, suck it in. Now, what have we got here? This basement is also flooded. This is a little bit awkward. Uh, Merck Ultra Program, CIA document, blah blah blah, to file. Hypnotic experimentation and research. On Wednesday, 10th uh, February 1954, so we're going way back. Hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massif uh, Preserve in Colorado. Using the following subjects. Material abridged, thank God for that. Uh, a post-hypnotic of the night before uh, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Uh, Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was uh, then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Mrs. Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Huh. Miss Pierce carried out those suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded uh, lunatic pistol uh, gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again headed or handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. So, mind control. Hmm. Oh. Caffeine. Delicious caffeine. So, they're experimenting with mind control as well as other things. Alright. Up and over. Who's there? Oh. Looks like we have company. Not the friendly kind of company either. The I'm a big fucking arsehole that's going to stab you type of company. Turn on the two gas pumps in the main breaker to reset. Ah, yeah, I do remember this. 
like I said, I've played a lot of this. Well, no, I played the whole bloody thing. Like, when the PS4 first came out. And I have, of course, watched a uh, Let's Play of it recently. Now, if I remember correctly, the second we hit this, all hell breaks loose. Matey boy gets a little bit upset. So let's duck under here. And hopefully... He ain't gonna know where we are. Come on, you big lumbering turd. Ooh! Is this one of the Bulls brothers? I don't think so. I'll explain that term a little... No, it's not. This is just generic man with wooden bat. Who may or may not cave our head in. Up to heaven, eh? You gonna escort me, mate? Do you promise to hold hands and treat me like a princess? Alright, let's wait for him to jog on a little bit more. Ooh. Battle Raz. Need them. Right. Damn it! Look, mate, can you not go into that room, please? I need to get in there myself. I hope you understand. Hey, bud, I really need to get into that room. And my timepiece has not recorded. Or not, um, not started, I should say. There you go. Go, right, mate. Now, I don't think he can see us in the dark. Maybe he can. All right, buddy. This is going to get worse before it gets better. All right, sweetheart. Thanks for the love taps. Um, <laughs> I think I was crouching instead of running. <clears throat> well, that was jolly unfortunate. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, up and over. Who's that? It's me, you big bellend. You've already sent me to heaven once. And it was not an enjoyable experience either. I must be honest. Nope, let's put that down. Let's open the door. Let's push the button. Let's grab the battery. Let's get out of this room. Uh, there's... Let's get into here. Can we put that down, please? Thank you. We're also going to push that in your own time. And hide in a locker. Because fuck you, buddy. Ah, maybe he saw us because there was light on. On the actual switch. That makes sense. And we're going to have a quick break here, guys. So I can see how long we've been recording for. Okay. So we've got another 10 minutes left. That's one thing I love about OBS. I can tab out, but it doesn't interrupt the game. Great. There's no putty tat there. You don't know that. There might have been. Could have been a big one. One called Sylvester. Now, I don't... Think we have anything else to push? Just the main generator. Now I don't know where this dick bag. There he is. Now please don't come in. Come on, buddy. 
We will call this gentleman Low Blow. Now, I don't know. We really don't want that on, because that's just wasting our battery. I don't know if there's a way to distract them. So we're going to do the only thing we know how to. We're going to open the door. There he is. He's over there. Ah, he's by the switch. Oi, mate. I need to play with that. Actually, you could be a darling, could you? And pull the switch yourself. That would help me out quite a lot, actually. Alright, let's see if we can just creep along. He is also moving quicker than us, I think. Oh, look. Here's one he made earlier. A dead one. Now we've started those two. And I think now we've just got to push. Ah, shit, no. No, there's still more we need to do here. Buck nuggets. Alright. So we've pushed the two buttons. I think there's actually like... A nozzle we need to turn on. Shit. What about that? Uh, I'm guessing that's the way he came. Ah, you big turd. Oh, yeah, you keep going that way. Yeah, jog on, pal. And I hope that incessant beeping that our camera's making is not going to alert him. Because that would kind of suck. Yeah, so this is the way he came. Right, get up. Ooh, where does this go? Well, we'll take the battery. Now, what do we have in here? Nothing. That's unfortunate. Now, is it going to be like summer? Are they going to kind of hover around us? Ooh, more batteries. Certainly more batteries than I remember. I'm not sure I'm that bothered about that though. That's quite nice actually. Now we can still see as well. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Powered up and ready to go. Uh, let's do this quietly now. Ooh. Ooh. Right, so, let's switch that, and then we're going to hide, because no doubt, flipping that switch has made him know exactly where we are. Through the magics of video game logic. Evening, dear sir. I can hear the pitter patter of your little footsteps. Now, I'm reckoning we can just book it past this guy. But I don't know. We are kind of getting full on batteries as well, which is good. Don't know where this gentleman is. What the hell is that? It, that was a nothing, mate. That was absolutely nothing for you to worry about. That was just a part of your psychosis. This is where things get awkward. Because he's going to be pacing up and down, up and down, up and down outside. He's now checking the lockers. Just another ghost. Yeah, something like that. Why don't you go play with Mr. Walker? He's looking for a pig and a whore. I'm sure he'll be gentle. Right, let's see if he's fucked off now. 
Ooh. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Okay, I think we Ah, for fuck's sake, he's still out here. Now this is this <laughs> this is illustrating my problem with these games. You spend a heck of a lot of time just waiting. In fact, whilst he's out there, what we could do is book it. Or we could, if I knew where we were. Shit, get off me. There we go. This is prob... Oh, you dickhead. Look, go through the door, mate. There we go. It's just easier to fucking book it all the way back. Because if memory serves, we are faster. Right, turn the generator on. Now, what was... Which was the way out? This is the way out. See you later, alligator. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Shit. I say with confidence. Ah, there we go. Ha, ha. Fuck you, boy. Okay. Supreme victory. That was good. That was good. Yeah, it's just easier to run past these guys, I think. Right, let's put the buddy camera down now. Alright. So, do we have... I'm in... Still says I'm inside. Okay. Well, now we can unlock the security door, if I can remember where that is. Remember, my pathfinding is less than... Nope, it's not that way. Less than perfect. In fact, it's okay. You can, you can be honest, it's shit. We need to go that way. Why are these doors locked? They weren't locked before, were they? Ah, uh, nope. Did that dickbag seriously lock the doors? I guess he may have. Or, or, I'm trying to go through the wrong ones. Yeah, because we came out this way. Ah, forget what I just said, guys. I'm being stupid. Making everything ten times harder than it actually is. Right, once more feeling. Um. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The Wall Rider. The only way out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. Is that so? Well, if I may be so bold, go peddle thy shite elsewhere. I am not interested in what you're selling, sir. Thanks for the drugs, though. I hope they're good ones. Oh. Well, we're not dead yet. Alright, buddy. Yeah, at least we still have our camera. Alright. So. Hopefully, this... Oh, remember that notes are only added to your notebook when your cam... Oh, right. Oh. Oh, notes are only added... Okay. That makes sense. 
The priest, Father Martin, brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wiener Nickel is at the center of whatever went wrong here. But he died more than ten years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, buddy. Cheers. I don't want to be locked up there all day. Well. Fuck's wrong with you, bruh. They're in your blood, and now that's actually quite important. They're in my blood, and they want to get out. That's important. So just what are they? What's inside these people? Hmm. I'm telling you, if you don't know the ending of this game, it will surprise you. Oh, hello. What are you trying to have a grab? Wow. Wow. You're an interesting fellow. He's having his own little rave in there, isn't he? He's listening to some techno or some shit. He's got some 90s bonkers on. In his head, anyway. Just reminds me of that episode of Spaced. When you first uh, get introduced to that guy. I can't remember the raver. I can't remember what he's called now. And the sound of the telephone and uh, Who's this? water pouring sends him into a dancing spree. Maybe. Oh, it's the Bulls Brothers. Like look, look, him. check it out. This was it. Yes, oh, God. The preacher asked us not to. It would be impolite. Yeah, I, yeah guys. We give him a running start. There's an idea. Is that a promise? I want his tongue and liver. You can have my liver, but my tongue is mine. Yes. Yeah, so, um, as soon as we saw these two, that was it. We were just in hysterics for the rest of the game. Uh, I never said I was mature. I might be thirty-one years old, but trust me, my uh, my humour is that of a twelve-year-old boy. Um. Yeah, I can't believe that. I don't know. <laughs> it's just funny. Funny as fuck. We need a safe spot. You look like you've had some surgery, boy. Not the good kind. Is that a good kind of surgery? Well, I suppose life's... Sa uh, saving surgery is a good kind, I suppose. Ooh. Did you just push me, sir? I think we should fucking push these bastards back. Can we get a uh, journal entry from these guys? You alright guys? You look like bloody mutants. I mean honestly. Cannibals or some shit. Nope. Um, I guess we're going to search everything we can for any notes that we can come up with. Hey right, buddy. Tell you it's science or it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. What's always been here? What are you talking about, buddy? I see they have removed your genitals. Well, unlucky. I guess it's lucky for us, because we don't want to see that shit. Are you Billy? You're going to do yourself an injury, sir. No Alright, I'll leave you alone. Yes, you've said this before. Well, let's just get out of here. I don't think we're going to find too much written on these walls. Alright. Onwards and upwards. Oh, can you, can you stop pushing me around, you little prick? No, we've already been up here with the Bulls brothers. 
Uh. Oh, hello. You're right there. I would say science and faith don't mix, but they can do. Oh, hello. You are ugly. You have no mouth and you must scream. Hmm. Alright, well. Aha! This is what I was looking for. Oh, someone's not having a very good time. Someone's having a bit of an awkward time, actually. Oh, there we go. Come on. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Oh, hello. Uh, what what were you doing with that body? Uh, or is it best that we don't know? Hey, I'm not going to judge. If you want to have a good go at that body, mate, knock yourself out. I'm out of here. Hello. You all right there? We, we, we could have had a little chat. Oh, the shower. Yeah, we're not going to the showers with people like him around. He'll be on our ass faster than we can drop the soap. Especially with these uh, damn Bulls brothers around as well. Don't trust them. I mean, they're embracing their, their uh, birthday suits, and there's something to be admired about that, but... If they could do it in the privacy of their own cells, I think that would be better for all of us. I didn't wait until I finished, oh, but I saved some for you. Mm, just wait. You what now? What did you save for me? I like presents. Big ones, with lots of buttons. Yeah. Block B. Follow the blood trails to the exit. Alright. Did we get a note for that? Fuck this place. Seriously, just fuck this place. Dying keeps moving lower on the list of worst things that could happen to me. That is an interesting thought. Is dying the worst thing that could happen to us? I can't answer that. Hmm. Well, I hope this gas is good. Lots of blood on the floor, apparently. Bloody batteries are almost drained again. Seriously. Have these developers ever actually used good quality batteries? I mean, it was the same in uh, Max Payne as well. And pretty much any game that you can use batteries. Down the drain with the blood. Uh huh. Well, personally, I like to keep my blood in my body. Uh huh. Down the drain. Well. If I must, we really need a save point, guys. Let's have a little look at this document. Uh, Helen, Dr. Zeichner gave me your info to contact you regarding the cancellation of the arts, the arts program. My patient, um, Martin Archibald, has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Feces and blood, I, I'm sure, were the materials used. Uh, just in the week since cancelling the arts program, his schizophrenic... Schizophrenic? 
schizophrenative assertions of some higher calling have accelerated enormously. Please let the man finger paint. The few dollars you're saving on t uh, temper paint is more than swallowed by the cost of um, clozapine. I assume that's the uh, drug that keeps him under control. I can't imagine the logic at play here. Unless Murkoff wants the patients to become more disengaged from reality. Uh, yeah, I guess that seems to be what's going on here. You alright, mate? You having a good time? I talk to myself as well. Uh, I find that's the way, uh, that's the best way of getting the most sense. Alright, well, inactive. Well, we're on the other side. Oh. I really would like a save spot. Am I just not they noticing them? They were rituals. A conjuring. Uh huh. Oh, hello. Do go on. I'm all ears. No. Alright. Well, it looks like uh, our torch is about dead again. Because of course it is. Yeah, so video length for this game are probably is probably going to vary. Oh, it's the Bulls Brothers. Was that necessary? Was that really necessary? Come near me, mate, and that's going up your fucking ass. Had we the power, that is. Hey, right, buddy. Are you going to go ham on me? I'd like you to stay quiet. Yeah, you got it. Oh, be quiet. Ouch. Can I, can I just, can I just go in there? No? I'll be quiet then. If I must. I would rather like to go in that room though. Oh. Oh. Actually, come this way. Oh dear. Can you kill each other please? Can you two kill each other? Is that something that would happen? No, you're not going to kill each other. Ouch. That was my face. My pretty face. Can you not hit me, please? Thank you. Um, I guess I'm out of here. Up and over. Can we hide in here? No, we cannot. <laughs> ouch, ouch, please stop hitting me, you you insane human being. Uh, Miles, have you even considered hitting the twat back? Honestly. Uh. Oh, here he comes, run, run. Just keep running, just keep running. Oh, hello. Such tender eyes. Why, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad someone noticed in this hellhole. I mean, I like to think I have lovely eyes. And he's seen me again. Oh, I didn't want all those teeth anyway. Yeah, just slowing me down. Oh. Ouch. I just saw where we needed to go. We need to go through that, uh, through the lift. Well. Well. Oh. It starts us back here. That's quite nice. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching. When we go back, we're actually going to, you know, go through the lift. May well, hopefully with all of our teeth in our head as well. But uh, no promises on that front. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time.